Hey everyone, I'm Dean from Elementor and welcome to the first look at version 322. Today we'll talk about a new professional design capability called the Off Canvas widget and the incredible performance boost you get by enabling the new element caching feature, as well as other performance improvements included in version 322. Updating to Elementor 322 gives your website an unprecedented performance boost with the element caching feature. It drastically improves your website's loading time, including cutting the time it takes for the first byte to reach your visitor's browser by 70% on average. Once you activate the feature, it will automatically recognize which Elementor and Elementor Pro widgets rely on static or dynamic content. If the widget is static, its output will be cached on the server. This means that the widget's output is stored on a temporary storage location, so that subsequent visitors to the website from that server can access it quickly without having to render it for themselves. You can also change the default caching setting of each widget in the Advanced tab, under Cache Settings. Element caching is a huge feature for improving your loading times, and this version also takes further steps to clean up the code produced by Elementor. We've replaced the Waypoint.js library with a more modern native JavaScript. And since so many amazing performance features have been added during the past year, we also decided to keep them all organized in one place. There's now a new performance tab where you can activate and optimize all the stable performance features recently added to Elementor. Next up is the Off Canvas widget that helps you build engaging interactive layouts by opening and closing containers from a connected link. Like other nested elements, the content area of the Off Canvas widget behaves like a container that gives you the freedom to place any and as many widgets in them as you'd like. So let's check out all of the different features of the Off Canvas widget by exploring two ways you can use it in your website. To build with the Off Canvas widget, go to the WordPress admin, Elementor, Features page, and activate the nested elements experiment. Note that the Off Canvas widget has to be in the same site part as the link that opens it. So if you want to open the Off Canvas widget from a link or button in the header or body, place the Off Canvas widget accordingly. Our first example will be creating a vertical menu that opens when you click on a hamburger menu icon. Once you place the Off Canvas widget, it will automatically open in editing mode. This allows you to build and design your layout and customize its animation and overlay effects. Next, choose the vertical and horizontal position of your Off Canvas and set its width and height. It's automatically set to full height but you can easily change it to fit your design scheme. You can also click on settings to set the entrance and exit animation with plenty of different animation options to choose from. Now you're ready to link the off canvas to the link or button. Exit editing mode and click on the hamburger icon. Click on the dynamic tag icon next to the link input and in the drop down menu, you'll find the off canvas option under the action title. Now click on the wrench icon and specify which action you want the button to trigger and which off canvas widget you want to connect to. If you have multiple off canvas widgets, they'll be numbered according to their appearance from top to bottom on the page. Another way to use the off canvas widget is to display listings with a loop grid. Just build and design your listing and connect it to a link. If you want your visitors to focus on the content open in your listings, you can set an overlay for the widget style tab. You can toggle the overlay to turn it on and off, choose its color gradient, or use an image. For this example, we'll set a light overlay so your visitors don't feel like they clicked into another page. That's version 322, a new professional design tool and significant performance improvements that make Elementor built websites faster than ever. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.